The movie is called Curiosa. It's a French word that means curiosities dealing with sensual subjects. Curiosa is a period film set in Paris around the end of the 19th century, and it starts with a man named Pierre Lois watching three sisters of the Heredia family as they prepare themselves in front of a one-way mirror. These sisters are named Marie, Louise, and Helene. Their father Jose Maria Heredia enters the room and tells Pierre to stop checking on her daughters as he needs to meet with them soon. Pierre is a poet and also a family friend of the Heredias, and he seems to be very comfortable around the girls so much that he seems to be crossing the line. He kisses the girls and touches their waists one too many times. The girl's mother Madame Heredia tells Pierre to leave her daughters alone and says that he's stubborn. Pierre's best friend named Henry Regnier is also present as he's looking for a girl to marry as well. Henry is also a poet and Helene tries to impress him by reciting poetry to him. Madame escorts Henry and Helene inside the room and she asks Marie to serve tea to them. Marie leaves to get some tea and Pierre follows her. When they are in the hallway, they start flirting with each other. And when they are about to kiss, Madame walks in on them. Henry receives a letter from Pierre saying that he also likes Marie. He also states that in order to avoid this brewing rivalry between them, they need to tell Marie about this shared love. Henry seems uncomfortable with Pierre's letter. Marie talks to an excited Helene and she tells her that Henry will definitely take good care of her. Their mother enters the room and tells them that Henry chooses Marie to be his wife, which surprises both of them. Marie leaves the room with her mother, leaving Helene crying inside. Henry is a rich man and Marie sees him giving a huge amount of dowry to her parents. The wedding has eventually taken place even if Marie does not love Henry. A few years later, in 1897, Pierre is now back in Paris from his trip to Algeria. He confronts Henry about him not agreeing with what he stated in his letter. Henry tells Pierre that his love for Marie is greater and stronger than his. He adds that his love for Marie is strong enough to end their friendship. Pierre tells Henry that love is a gratification of the senses. Back home, Henry tells Marie that he met Pierre earlier. Marie seems excited about hearing that Pierre is back in the city. Henry adds that Pierre brought an Algerian with him and he claims that she is his muse. The excitement immediately turns into sadness across Marie's face. Pierre, along with his other friends, hangs around with the Algerian woman named Zoha. Pierre takes pictures of candid and sensual pictures of Zoha and his friends. One day, Marie visits Pierre at his place. Pierre introduces Marie and Zoha to each other. Tension immediately fills in the room between the two women. When Zoha leaves the room, Pierre and Marie kiss each other. Pierre tells Marie that he posted a contact ad in the newspaper with the code name MLH. During breakfast, Marie grabs the newspaper and looks for the advertisement. When she finds it, she memorizes the address provided and there she sends letters to Pierre. In one of the letters, Marie tells Pierre that she wants to be photographed in sinful positions. Pierre agrees with Marie's requests, and he decides to meet with her. Pierre starts taking pictures of Marie, initially her being fully clothed, and gradually removes an article of clothing until she's completely wearing no clothes. Pierre develops the photographs and he calls Marie, the fly. One day, Pierre visits Henry and Marie's place to Marie's surprise. When Henry leaves the room, Pierre and Marie kiss each other quickly. At nighttime, Marie is seen writing poetry. One day at Pierre's studio, Pierre opens up to Marie about the idea of having another woman joining them. The idea does not sit well with Marie and she says that Pierre isn't contented with her. Marie asks if Pierre has other mistresses, and Pierre says that he has. Marie gets hurt about hearing this but she gets consoled by Pierre immediately. The D isn't worth it girl. After several days, Marie goes to visit Pierre at his place but he isn't there. Marie decides to enter the room on her own and she finds an album of photographs of women that Pierre has taken. Pierre continues to take pictures of Marie without her wearing any clothes. Marie asks Pierre if she can have some of the photographs and Pierre agrees. During one party, Marie sees Pierre with Zoha and she instantly gets jealous. Henry notices this, but he doesn't say anything. Marie tells Henry that she's not feeling well and she wants to go home. Henry says otherwise because a lot of people are watching. He tells her that they will leave discreetly later. Back in their home, Henry secretly opens Marie's drawer and he discovers the unclothed photographs of Marie. 
Henry sheds a tear when he finds out about this. He confronts Marie about this and he tells her that Pierre does not love her. Henry adds that Pierre is captivated by Zoha and shares her with his other friends. Marie pushes Henry back and tells him that she doesn't love him. Marie visits Pierre's place and she sees Pierre and his friends watching Zoha dance unclothed. Marie immediately leaves without getting noticed. One night, Pierre tells Zoha that she needs to leave him. Zoha does not want to and she tells Pierre that he needs her. Pierre gives Zoha money but the conversation ends in a huge fight. Eventually, Zoha leaves Pierre's place. A few days after, Zoha confronts Marie and she blames her for getting kicked out of Pierre's house. Marie tells Zoha that she's the one that Pierre loves. The two women go to Pierre's studio, but Pierre isn't there. Zoha begins to encourage Marie to have a sensual time with her, and eventually, they find themselves kissing each other. Zoha tells Marie that this is what Pierre wants to see. Pierre tells Henry that he has kicked out Zoha, but now he misses her. Henry advises him to follow Zoha in Algeria and learn about her passion because he clearly loves her. One day, Marie receives a letter from Pierre that says that he's going back to Algeria, but he wants her to keep on writing to him. Marie doesn't take this news very easily as she runs away and screams. Eventually, Marie falls down uninspired and she lies on her bed all day. Her sister Helene tries cheering her up but to no avail. Henry tells Marie's mother that Marie has been thinking about divorcing him. Marie's mother doesn't like this and encouraged Henry to do everything to keep Marie inspired and act like her husband. Marie and Pierre continue to write letters to each other and they express their love for each other. Pierre eventually returns to Paris and he discovers that Marie and his friend John have been photographing each other inside his studio. Pierre gets hurt with this discovery and he refuses to talk to Marie anymore. Marie tells Pierre that she does not love John and he is her one true love, but Pierre doesn't budge. Henry tells Pierre that Marie is pregnant and he wants him to be one of the godfathers. Henry says that if the child is a boy, they will name it Pierre. Pierre is greatly saddened by the news. One day, Pierre joins Henry and Marie on a trip to the zoo. Pierre is delighted to see the couple's son. When Henry goes to buy a drink, Pierre tells Marie how much he loves him. The conversation doesn't last long as Henry goes back immediately. Henry then talks to Pierre about wanting to hear him and Marie make love, to which Pierre obliged as payment for everything that Henry has done to him. Pierre brings Henry to the room beside his studio and eventually, Marie arrives. Pierre and Marie proceed to make love as Henry eavesdrops from the nearby room. Henry is satisfied with everything that he's hearing. After a few days, Madame de Herediya visits Marie and tells her that Henry has given her father a job and provided a house for them. Madame also tells Marie that Louise is eyeing Pierre as her husband. Marie campaigns against this idea and says that Louise will be unhappy since Pierre travels all the time. Pierre receives a letter saying to meet in the studio tomorrow at 4 o'clock. He gets excited about the letter. The next day, he waits inside his studio and opens the door to see Louise instead of Marie. Louise tells Pierre that she wants to work for Pierre as his secretary. The conversation quickly escalates to Louise and Pierre kissing each other. The next day, Pierre confronts Marie about sending Louise to his studio. Marie defends herself by saying that Pierre could have resisted the temptation, but he did not. Marie adds that by giving in, Pierre pretty much says that he wants to marry Louise. Pierre tells Marie that he does not want to get married. Marie tells Pierre that she loves him enough to share him. Marie continues to describe the things that can happen between them once Pierre decides to marry Louise. Marie checks in with Henry and tells him that she has started writing. She says that it's a love story and she asks Henry if he wants to read her work, to which he says yes. Pierre gives a dowry to Louis's parents signifying that he wants to marry her. Soon enough, Marie and Louise see themselves posing together for Pierre's photographs. While developing the pictures of Marie and Louise together, Pierre experiences that his eyes are getting strained. Louise takes care of his eyes. It appears that Pierre has been diagnosed with Landuzzi syndrome and it's being recommended for him to take hydrotherapy. Landuzzi is a muscle atrophy disease which progressively gets worse from the face to the shoulders and eventually to the lower body. Marie visits Pierre and he tells her that he is now seeing everything from a different perspective and he loves it. He adds that all the pictures he took are living within him, so all he needs to do is close his eyes for him to see the pictures. 
Marie talks with a bookstore owner who tells her that her book titled Lake and Start is selling like hotcakes in his shop. Marie is delighted to hear about this success. Marie published the book under a pen name, and the buyers are thinking that the writer is an old bearded dull man and not a beautiful young woman. Marie says that everyone loves love stories. Marie's book talks about her experience with Pierre, a great artist and poet. The bookstore owner invites Marie to eat dinner with him tonight, but she politely declines. Marie walks home smiling.